Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens. In this episode, we're going to look at a few of the expansions for Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. Obviously, we're looking here at the Descendants uh, add-on uh, expansion. Uh, with a, it basically comes in a card box with some additional content for the game. Um, just real quick before we open this, there's just a couple other things you can order. These are uh, some custom skill dice. These are separate uh, purchase on the Fallen Dominion website. Uh, you'll see here that the 10 is represented by a mushroom cloud. And so we have the skill dice in these six different colors that you would use in your crew. And they work. No nukes. Jackson Brown would be thrilled. All right, so that's one thing you can buy. You can also get these cool 3D resource tokens. So you got ammo. Um, I mean, they're depicted as, as ammo, uh, oil, uh, gas, and medical supplies, but they actually just translate to one, five, and 10. Um, so all resources are your currency, but these are 3D instead of the, the tokens that came with the game. So that's a cool little upgrade you can get to if you want that. So looking here at Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game Descendants, the Emergence saw, it's kind of a weird shaped box here for a widescreen video. The Emergence saw the few remaining bastions of humanity rise up as the beacons of hope for the future. These remaining survivors solidified their small pockets of civilization and clawed for a foothold to stave off the chaos and death of the waste. Each faction precariously balanced the survival, the struggle for survival with the race for primacy. Council brought peace to the chaos, but this peace stagnated into complacency and brought new threats and bloodshed. Twelve alternate factions joined the fight for supremacy over the waste. The challenges of leadership, management, and survival are expanded for each town with the introduction of the new town events deck, the chip storage trays, and the deck storage box organize the game's components during play and greatly reduce setup time. A new town technology allows you to build a resource within your town. New chips, cards, and gameplay variants add further immersion and depth to Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game experience. So let's crack it open, see what you get inside. All right, so this is the artwork, very cool. Guy leaping off a building as people shooting at him, trying to grab the other side or the hand that's reaching out for him. Over a desolate city. Very nice artwork, though. I really do like it. All right, so let's dig into this here. We can get it open. All right. How are we going to do this here? Let's do that. And that. There we go. All right, so we've got, oh, we've got some dividers for the cards which is nice because that will like they said help set up so the cards can go in in front of the divider not behind things go in front of dividers just, just reminding you that planes spoils town events for the new deck and miscellaneous so that's cool the one thing that I understand is I'm not sure that sleeved if all the cards from this and the base game will fit in one of these boxes with these dividers so you can actually order from their website a empty box for the descendants um expansion so you can just order order the box itself so you have two boxes for all your cards if you choose to sleeve which i will because these shuffle a lot all right then we've got extra cards more characters more missions and the town events deck so we'll take a look at a town event. We'll just flip one at random. Here comes the rain again. Dark storm clouds loom on the horizon. Will this be a good thing? Roll a 1d10 on the town events chart below. You can gain health, gain health, gain one health. No effect, lose health, lose health, lose health. And one random character from the town roster. Acid rain decimates your town. Easy. Boy, it's pretty, pretty nasty stuff here. Dangerous Raiders. A dangerous group of well-armed raiders is moving through the countryside that is under the protection of your faction. Bolster your town defenses to prevent becoming an easy target. For each town defense chip you currently have equipped, gain one town health. End turn phase. If you don't have any town to equip, 
town defense chips equipped. Lose two prestige, roll a 1d10 to find out what happens. No effect. Discard the most valuable item in your auction house. Lose two town health, lose four town health. Wow, it's pretty deadly. This is such a, this is such a cool game. This really is really such a cool game. All right, sorry, I'm rambling now. All right, so then we got here a sheet of new cards and some rules. So let's slide this off. All right, so we got a rule card. Got Descendants rule card one, rule card two. So here's your rules. It comes in at two cards, full color on coded cardstock. Welcome, thank you for purchasing Fallen Lands Descendants. This is the third expansion for Fallen Land. The first two, A Journey into Darkness and Outriders Trading Post, are now included in the Fallen Land second edition big box set. So this actually came out between, originally I think between the two, between the first edition and the second edition, if I'm not mistaken. And the second edition came out and included all the first two expansions and then this one was still available. So, uh, what's in the box? The deck box, the plastic chip trays and lids, which we're gonna see. Deck separators, descendants play mats, character cards, spoils cards, action cards, encounter cards, mission cards, biodome town technology chips, NPC mercenary chips, link chips, compass chips, qu compass chips, question mark chips, town event cards. There are 65. We just took a look at those. The town event. Events deck replaces the town events chart from the core rules by expanding upon its principal purpose. So that's cool. And it explains how the cards work and the rules for using those. And then we also have here 12 new factions. We have the Angels of Mercy, started in Iowa City, Iowa. We have Beasts of the Atom. From Great Falls, Montana. Wild cards out of Battle Mountain, Nevada. Or Nevada. Red River Parish out of Shreveport. The starting locations may be the same here. New Separatist, Albany, Georgia. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. There are new ones, but they're still, they're kind of like, they use the same, uh, miniature you know uh team team movement marker uh and start in the same location so these replace i mean you can, they're alternates so you can play with any like you couldn't play with a new separatist and the new federalist so it says they're affected by new federalist cards so if you look at each one here that's why it's seeming familiar i was like wait a minute, I thought there was a shreveport one already and it is the swamp runners in the in the base game can be swapped out with the red river parish and it says what they are. So, anyway, so we'll go through the rest of them here. So, we got the Freedom Frontiersmen out of Amarillo, the Road Kings out of Sturgis, which, okay, Prophets of Ezekiel, affected by the Brotherhood out of St. George, Utah, Neptune's Wrath out of Grand Haven, Michigan. Would, would Neptune limit himself to a Great Lake? That's interesting. Sigma Complex out of Emporium, Pennsylvania. Los Cent Sentinelas out of Jimenez, Coahuila. Coahuila? Coahuila. And the Collective out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Those wacky Canadians. All right, so there are those new factions. And then we've got two of the chip trays here. We've got one that's just, these are like, these are similar to ones that came in the base game. So you've got one that's, that stores the uh, 13 different round markers, uh, round the, the, the uh, town resource markers, and then the uh, six section tray. Oh, there's two of those. There they are. They come apart. They were all together. And the way the book has these divided actually works really well. The, the rule book and the base game has you basically putting some of each type of chip in these so that you can spread them across the table as you're playing with multiple players. So there's two of those, two lids, and then one for the town resource or town improvement chips. And then we've got two punch boards here with different, uh, so there's our biodome 
uh, resource markers, right? And then our improvement, town improvement markers. There's ones for biodome and got some question marks here and the chains and the exclamation points. So if you are to pick up a copy of the Fallen Land Descendants expansion, you are going to get those two sheets of pre-rounded, those are round counters, four, uh, three trays to help organize your game, 12 sheets of alternate factions to play in the game that just provide a little bit of variability. And then there are additional cards to expand the decks in the base game. In addition, there are the new town events deck that we took a look at, 65 town events cards. And this cool, these are very thick too, by the way, these are very thick chipboard dividers to put behind each set of cards. And that is everything. And you get the cool box for putting your cards in. So that is everything that comes in Fallen Land Descendants, the third expansion for the Fallen Land post-apocalyptic board game from Fallen Dominion Studios. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!